Hey, what up, man? Uh, so, uh, again, <laughs> everybody jumps out of the window, man, before they before they even know somebody's breaking in the house. Uh, the report has been released, and the um, transcript, actual audio has been released of the whole Jacob Blake situation. So, black people, particularly and especially black women, I no longer want to hear anything about black women not being protected. I don't want to hear any more about these claims because, again, this is another perfect case of black women making the wrong choice in men and Jacob Blake. OK, him coming over there. And again, uh, let me rewind. OK, another thing from what they're saying, this was the same person that he had allegedly sexually assaulted through digital penetration, okay? Sexually assaulted through digital penetration, all right? They called the police to get him up out of there. And then, as always, the black woman has, you know, I guess I would say buyer's remorse, or she understood what she did. So, and I'm not going to say it was the quote-unquote baby mama or fiance. don't know who it was. It hasn't been clarified yet who actually made the call. But anyway... A black woman involved over his residence said he took her keys. So the whole keys and shit that they taken and all these other things, who knows? Don't know. But again, black women, why do y'all keep choosing these piece of shit dudes? And then cry about protection. But again, those are the people going oops upside your head. All right. <laughs> those are the people giving you that gap band. Okay. So. It's extremely disingenuous. And again, something that black the black community refuses to acknowledge and hold black women accountable for. And furthermore, ourselves accountable for, because again, this is who you guys are tearing up a city for. This is who you guys are going to bat for. This dude is a alleged sexual assaulter of black women. And we're seriously still going to go behind it and, and, um, uh, Support this guy, this Jacob Blake guy. We're going to pay him a million dollars to be a fucking criminal piece of shit. Break the law. Extensive rap sheet. Abuse black women. Right? Set his children up for life. For, again, criminal activity. I'm going to need Adidas and uh, Damien. Not, not, not my bad. Not Damien Lillard. Um, uh, Spider Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell, to do the same thing you're doing for children who just happen to be, um, you know, unfortunately given a piece of shit father to go out here in America and find the best and the brightest of black children, namely black males, if possible. The genius levels, again, the genius level children, okay, that are out here. Doing the same thing where they have parents that aren't that big, big, biggest pieces of shit. Or they do and they're out here still finding a way to make it and be brilliant. You know, be intelligent. Give something positive for the image of and, and the future for the black community. I'm going to need them to be afforded that same, you know, college scholarship for life. I'm going to need you guys to go in search of them. You know, not just wait for the media to drop in the lap of you. Um, uh, you know, some kids that were put into the situation by their piece of shit father. Me as a father, again, I'm the epitome of fucking fatherhood, man. This this is what me makes it even worse. You guys don't you guys don't even celebrate the good fathers. You don't want good black fathers. Cause the ones of us that, that are great, I, again, this is again why oh why are y'all so mad? Why are y'all so mad about the the, the Pookie and Railways? Why are y'all so mad about the unproductive? Because again, man, we're in limbo. The dudes like me who are like the, you know, the middle class brothers, you know, go to job, go to work, work a job, nine to five, a career, whatever it has, has been your entire adult life, bro. All right. Your entire adult life. You never get any recognition. None. And your track record is impeccable. It's provable. Nobody fucking comes to see you and pick you up and tell you how good of a job you've done and all these other things. All right. You're lied upon as soon as fucking the woman you're dealing with 
you know, long-term relationship, um, uh, partner, female, or uh, wife, shit don't go your way. Now you're the worst fucking father ever. Even though she's never, ever had a complaint in her entire, in your entire relationship, everything was good while you guys were together. As soon as you get, you guys go your separate ways. Now you're the biggest piece of shit. Even though you got the pictures to show it, you got the bank statements to show it, you got the money to show it, you have the relationship with your kids to show it, as, until, unfortunately, if they get brainwashed by the mother shooting them all this bullshit about the father, as they keep the actual good black fathers away from their children. So again, man, this is the, the black community, and this is what you guys want. I'm here to motherfucking challenge and put the bullshit on front street. I'm tired of it. Sick of it. I work too hard as me. And I represent the fucking, the, the, the voiceless black men out here, bro. I represent them. And I'm not being fucking quiet no more. I'm not being silent no more. You motherfuckers wouldn't dare challenge me in any of this shit. Especially these, again, all these dudes you guys talked about were pieces of shit. George Floyd, he had fucking children that didn't even know that their dad had died. Two children that didn't even know that somebody had to tell them, hey, man, that's your daddy. <laughs> but this is the guy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Richard Brooks. He had fucking um, uh, abuse, child abuse charges. This guy. I don't know He uh, I don't know if he had anything to do with his um, kids-wise, criminal-wise, but again, he put his children in danger. He ran and put his children in danger, bro, knowing that his children were in a situation. Oh, they shot him in front of his kids. Why did they shoot him in front of his kids? Because he decided to be stupid in front of his kids. Me as a father, the last thing I'm going to ever fucking do is put my children in danger. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to fucking kill and die for them in that order, okay? Not motherfucking put their lives that get them killed, okay? Or have them fucking die or me die in front of in front of them. That's not how it's supposed to go down. The only way I'm supposed to die in front of my fucking kids in front of their face is if it's me doing it to, to prevent them and give them enough time to get away, hopefully. Not me want to be on some nigga shit and, and defy the police and not obey the fucking law and be a fucking criminal and get them put in harm's way. But again, you niggas are too emotional and not even just emotional. You you know nothing about manhood, fatherhood, none of this shit. That's, that's the thing. There's no fucking standard for fucking manhood in the black community. And when a man dares fucking stand up and tell you, hey, this is what it is. This is what it needs to be. Oh, nigga, who is you? You broke. You ain't nobody. You ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't this, you ain't that. Nigga, I, I'm the majority. All right? High paid athletes and all that shit, that's the less than 1%. You fucking idiot. And you're never going to be them. I'm sorry. Especially if you're my age, you're 30 plus or whatever, you're never, you're never going to get the billion dollar Nike contract, okay? You're never going to be the motherfucking, you're never going to be the, the, the franchise player of the NFL franchise, okay? You're never going to do it. Somewhere you're going to end up somewhere around me, close to me, below me, at me, or above me, but not too far away. Even being a millionaire status. Again, you niggas need to get in love with the numbers as much as you're in love with these fucking narratives and these stories and your feelings. Okay? The numbers aren't going to lie. Look at the fucking median income, household income, household income. You know what household income means? That means two people nowadays for black families. If you're a black man making over that by yourself, Bro, you, you are doing great. You are doing just fine. And don't let nobody tell you that you ain't shit because you're not a millionaire or because you're not a six-figure nigga or none of that other bullshit, bro. We said we're going to start doing this shit, motherfucker. We here. Fuck it. Y'all can get behind me. You can't. It don't matter. I'm I'm with it. I'm with all the shit. And I dare, I hope, one of you dumb motherfuckers have the nerve to try and challenge it. But I know you won't because, again, you're not smart enough. You're not man enough. You don't have the motherfucking backing behind you. A lot of you motherfuckers, oh, I got money. Okay, you got money. What, what's up? What's other than that? Money is just a small part, man. That's an accessory of fucking manhood. That's not, has, money has nothing to do with fucking manhood. Nothing. You take the money away from a fucking weak-ass motherfucker, what do you got? You just got a weak-ass motherfucker. You got no man. You have to be a man first, and everything around you that comes with it is just residuals. But again, the majority of the black community does not what? They never see a man in their life. And even when they see a bad man, they're not smart enough to to say, say, hey, I'm going to be the opposite of him. I don't need a good man around me to learn how to be a good man. I can just watch a bad one and do the opposite. That's the difference between me and a lot of you niggas out here. And I'm also going to be talking about, um, uh, I think her name is Honesty. 
we still talking about, say her name, of Brianna the Bank Taylor? Brianna Taylor, who again has been confirmed by the transcripts, jail house phone conversation transcripts, that every narrative that was put out about her is a lie. A lie, a lie, a lie. You still got y'all out here trying to assault congressmen and senators? Man, y'all losing y'all mind out this bitch. Say her name! Say her name! Brianna the Bank Teller. Brianna the Bank Teller. That's what y'all need to start doing. If we gonna do this, black man, we will have to set the standard, man, and, and hold them to it. It is what it is. I'm not worried about you, your fucking opinion of me, calling me no coon and all this stupid bullshit. What the fuck you gonna do to me, man? Hmm? Some words? I'm a black man. <laughs> words gonna hurt me? From another ancient nigga? A, a lost motherfucker that's super emotional? Don't even know nothing about no facts? Don't know how to fucking debate, how to have an intellectual conversation or anything like that? You know? <laughs> how to follow logic trains? Thought processes? Things like that? Man, you, you guys are funny. You're hilarious. Alright? But, yeah. So, young girl here in um, Norfolk, Virginia... That was shot. A one month old, bro. A one month old was shot. Where's outrage? Where's Black Lives Matter? Where's the NBA? Where where are you you rappers? Where are all you people? And I'm gonna make a full video on that. It's coming. Well, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a whole live stream on that one. I'll see. Just to motherfucking show you niggas the hypocrisy, man. But as usual, man. Hey, make sure y'all um uh like, comment, share, subscribe, especially share, man. Start sharing this because we're gonna do this, bro. Hey, I just need y'all to give it away. I'll do I'll take the bullets. I'm built for it. All right, but start sharing this shit, man. Start sharing it because we here now, bro. The black men that want to see the motherfucking change in the black community and we're tired of these pieces of shit being motherfucking propped up, praised, and, and further endangering black men that are truly black men like me and you, you and myself, you and I. We got to start fighting back. This is the way we're going to fucking do it. So that's that on that one, man. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.